So let's go ahead and talk about conditional logic. Conditional logic is really cool because it allows you to move the code in the direction that you want based on a certain condition. And we're going to discuss the if statement and the select case statement. In theory, with code and then afterwards, I've thought of the perfect example to tie it all together, which will be in our keyword-driven framework driver script and our test-driven framework driver script, where we have both if statements and select case statements that will help you guys understand not only this stuff, but pretty much everything that we have learned up to this point. So let's go ahead and take a look at our UFT. So the if statement, the if statement is something provided to us by VBScript and the simplest form of it has this kind of syntax. If a certain condition is true, and when I put brackets around a word like this, it means that you can replace this with something. There's a very common conventions around the programming industry to convey pseudocode with brackets, meaning that you will replace something there. So, is true, then we are going to perform some actions and we close that in an end if block. With UFT, if you got it, it's very simple. You just type in if, push tab, boom, it creates the if block for you. You guys see that? If condition, then you do some stuff. So if true, then This is true, right? Okay, so that is an if statement. We can also add another part to this if statement if we have another option, which can be like this. So if this is true, then we perform some stuff. But what if another condition is true? Then we can perform another action. See that? Else if is a reserved word. Okay, else if another condition is true, then we will do those statements. Let me show you guys an example of that. So if this statement is true, then we're going to write QTP tutorial is awesome. Else if, let's say X is equal to Y, then So let's see this in action. But of course, we need to declare our variables and then we need to set some values to them. Okay, let's run up to here and see what happens. Okay, no problem. Step in. So if true, then this will happen. Otherwise, if X is equal to Y, then this will happen. Can anybody tell me right now what they think is going to happen? 